this week we have a very special episode. I'm gonna go diving, but I'm gonna meet up with Jill and Julie Reif. They are, I mean, the Reifs are who make all my spearfishing equipment. Their dad, Jay Reif, is just like the absolute legend and pioneer of freediving spearfishing. Julie's bringing her kids, I think they're like 13 and 16, and they're really into diving, so it's just gonna be about family time. This is exciting. We're gonna dive with the Reifs. Jill and Julie's dad, Jay, recently passed away. So the Reif daughters and granddaughters have gotten together to celebrate his life and live out his legacy. It's hard to express how integral Jay was to the world of spearfishing. As a pioneer of diving cold water in California, he then went on to make handcrafted spear guns that revolutionized the industry. To him, spearfishing was more than just a sport. It was his way of sharing his love of the ocean with his family and putting food on the table. This sport is kind of brought us all together and it's such a passionate, you know, lifestyle that I just, I'm really excited to hand that down to them. Yeah. And, and hopefully as the day goes on, we'll work our way down the coast and right. maybe we'll be able to pick up dinner. It is an honor to get in the water with the Reif Ohana. The ocean conditions are as beautiful as they get, but the most special part of this dive is having Sierra, one of Jay's granddaughters, in the water learning right alongside us. Take your time, let me settle, don't rush it. Every tip I give her about slowing down or stabilizing herself in moving water are put into practice immediately. Wow, you saw the right fish. That was awesome. We're not teaching Sarah how to shoot fish. We're teaching her how to hunt. Hunting is the way you read your environment. It's your approach. It's the way you move and how you stay calm under pressure. You're hunting good. Like that fish would not come up to you and be like, hello, Sierra, look at my yellow eye. If you were doing everything wrong, you're doing everything right. It's amazing. I know how frustrating it can be to miss fish after fish, but Sierra just does not give up. Julie and I brought our three prongs along to hunt for minpachi and other fish to fry. I think that Sierra is an old soul just like Jay, and she knows that I can try to put anyone on a fish and potentially succeed but what she's getting is so much more important. The fish will come later, but the technique will last her a lifetime. Sierra, I was very impressed by your diving today. Look at the fish. She's a freaking fish. <laughs> the thing that can't be taught is like heart and determination, and it's just insane. Like. I cannot believe how many dives you took today. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. You have the eye to spot the fish and you would like think of your own approach and it's like such a intuitive thing, you know, where it's gonna be different every time and but you yeah, you really you had it dialed. <laughs> This gun was with your grandpa. Oh, yeah. That's, so now that's like a gun that holds a special memory. Totally. Right we got to spend 10 days together in Mexico and that, you know, it was like kind of like you and me. Like you kept trying and kept trying and you just, mm -hmm. you know, you kept trying for these fish and it just wasn't happening for you. I had 10 days of that with your grandpa. So I took a drop. A fish came up to me. I got so excited because it was the first time I ever saw elephant tuna that I just turned and missed right away yeah, yeah. and came back to the surface. But rather than being disappointed, I was just so happy. And I just came up and, and your mom was looking at me and I was just like, mm -hmm. oh, I saw, I saw an ahi. And I was just breathing up, reloading my gun. I took another drop and this time I went even deeper and I remember I went to 98 feet and I shot it. It was just the most incredible feeling. But you know, I felt like a proud puppy when both of mm -hmm. us got to swim swim that fish back and show show your grandpa like 
it was it was magical. It was cool because you know what was so magical is that the way that his face just lit up. Mm -hmm. It was almost like having my own dad right there with me too. It was yeah. That was by far my favorite memory with that gun and with your grandpa. <laughs> I explained to him, and Monica backed me up, is when you catch your first white sea bass, you have to eat the heart. I mean, you clean them and you eat the heart. That's initiation into the spearfishing world. We're scaling, cleaning, and scoring the fish we caught to get them ready for Jay's memorial service tomorrow. I'm not going to that. I'm just going to... What are you going to do, Sierra? I... Who's going to try? I will. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. I will. Get a pan ready. You have this big bench. We still actually have it um, at Rife, but it was his fish filling bench at our house. That bench was very special, you know? And my dad laughed so hard. He's like, why do you want that old bench? I go, Dad, there's so many stabs from yeah, filet. Cool. You know, you stick the knife in there when you're all done. And, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh my gosh, it was awesome. just super special. We are going to put this fish in the oil. It's very exciting. <laughs> It's crazy the amount of respect I feel like so many of like the true blue OG like yeah. Hawaii skin divers and free divers like will always have for Jay Rife and his humility and who he was as a person and how he might have been like kind of immediately looked upon as like this, you know, game changer and pioneer. The way he carried himself was very like humble, very Hawaii. Yeah. And so I think that's why he was just so, so well received here. And, you know, and I think his, um, his legacy always will be. I'm pretty sure you don't know who these guys are and that's because they're from the time before Instagram, before social media, but these are the OG of spearfishing heroes. These are the legends that paved the way for me and the rest of us and they're all here. <laughs> Smile over here. The change that occurred during Jay's lifetime that he was a giant part of creating was it, it's the foundational blocks of spearfishing um, in the United States and in a, in a lot of ways around the world. It kind of trips me out that, to look at it, um, how competitive these guns still are. Like after all the people making guns nowadays, that, that for sure is going to leave a long legacy like forever. The thing about Jay, I think that impressed me the most was not only his craftsmanship, but his, his, his knowledge of safety. Yeah, for these kids coming up nowadays, they gotta realize that, you know, like, especially now with, you know, diving so deep, and you have to have the knowledge of all that. It's not just grabbing a gun and going out there and shooting everything in sight, but, but you gotta learn. I just want to say happy birthday to my father, Jay. He's up in heaven. And uh, <laughs> this, today's a really special day for all of us, not just because it's my dad's birthday, because we're in Hawaii, and Hawaii was very special to him. And he really wanted to be in Hawaii, so we brought some of him with us. Each and every one of you has experienced an amazing time with my dad. We really appreciate you all being here and being a part of our family. So cheers to Jay Rife. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Jay Reif was 24-7, 365 spearfishing, thinking, innovating. If I look back and see what Jay provided for not just Hawaii people but worldwide, he provided more of a way of providing food for your family but having camaraderie with your friends at the same time. To me, he was a really, a really good person. 
really good man. Loved his family, loved diving. It's not about the quantity of fish, it's about the quality. And to ensure that future generations will get to enjoy this sport as much as I did.